What we're going to do now is bring on our legal expert, Walter Clark, and ask him about it. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, Walter, you heard Susan's story. Uh, what recourse does she have? Because I have to tell you, I've never heard from anybody that if you leave your car in front of your house for three days, you don't even get a warning, they just tow it. Yeah, I didn't know either 72-hour limit. Um, I didn't know, and I think it's unfair. The city, I find out, contracts with uh, tow company and collection agencies, and they make money on this. And uh, she only had 14 days to contest it. And that's to an administrative hearing and then on to court. I, I don't think it's fair. On the one hand, ignorance of the law is not a defense. On the other hand, the city has an obligation to post these rules so you're not trapped because it does turn out to look like a moneymaker for everybody else involved. And I think the first time it happened, they should just waive it. Yeah, I agree. That's what I agree. She talked to the towing company and they told her 2200 Then they said it'll be down to 1400 Then she called back and said it's 2200 and basically pound sand if you don't like it. Yeah, and she only had 14 days to beef it. I, it just seems totally unfair to me. But um, watch out when you park your car in the city of Palm Springs, I guess, right? Apparently. Yeah. All right, here's another yeah. one. So Linda wrote us and she's got a problem where HOA wants to charge her a $13,000 assessment. She's lived at this place, Casa de Oro, for over 25 years. Now they want to, they've upped the HOA dues twice this year. Now they want to add an assessment to it. She says she's a senior citizen, and it's hard for her to afford this. What can she do? It's a very common complaint, and uh, HOAs are typically limited to 5% increase in their assessments over the prior year budget, but there are exceptions. Uh, emergency, safety issues, uh, court orders, and the board can order an increase after a vote. So there are exceptions, which probably happened here. Casa de Oro was started in 1976, so they probably needed some improvements. My advice to everybody in this situation is to read your documents, the CCNRs that came when you bought your house, bylaws for the HOA, attend the meetings and uh, request an accounting if you feel that something's wrong happening. Uh, also, take a look at the code. Civil Code Section 5600 outlines the rules that apply to HOAs. So go equipped and then realize that on the other side of the line, there are these board members who are unpaid and they tell us it's a thankless job. No matter what happens, people hate you. So, I mean, those little governments are, are tough. Tough to be on either side, I think. All right. Walter, thanks for the advice. Have a great weekend. You do the same. Thank you, Brett. Bye.